Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and we've got a dollar coin hunt to do today. So basically I've had a lot of viewers ask me to do a second dollar coin hunt um, if I could. And after going to a lot of banks and trying to find boxes of dollar coins, no one really has any. So on my last stop, at one of my Wells Fargo's that I pick up my half dollars from, I asked if they had any dollar coins and he said actually they had a few hundred dollars in customer wrapped and a few more hundred dollars in machine wrapped. And so I thought, let me look at them. So they brought them out to me. We've got some of these gray rolls, some of these uh, other hand rolls. And then I went ahead and put them in uh, presidential order. So if we have two rolls of Adams, for example, a couple of rolls of Washington, only one uh, Andrew Jackson, things like that. So I've got basically, what is that, eight different presidents here and a few rolls of some and single rolls of others. I think what I'm going to start with is these gray wrap rolls. Obviously, I'm going to be separating uh, the custom wrap rolls by presidentials, Sacagaweas, and then any Susan B. Anthony uh, dollars that I find. Once I've done that, we'll hunt them separately. What I'm really looking for on the Sacagaweas, obviously, is the detailed tail feathers from the Cheerio boxes. That'd be great to find those. And if I can find one of those, awesome. But if not, I don't expect to. I still can take a look at them. For the Susan B. Anthony's, I'm going to be checking for the wide rim again. That's a pretty good coin. I've already found one. Uh, I'll put a link above here to my last dollar hunt where I found one, hoping to find another one. And then on the presidential ones, um, since they're probably been circulated in these hand rolls, obviously I'll be looking for any missing edge lettering or wrong letters, things like that, or they're a pretty good variety and they fetch more value. After that, I'll make a decision whether or not I decide to open up the presidential ones. I think it's pretty cool that they're in full stacks. Um, I may open up the surplus rolls to check for any wrong edge lettering, but I might keep a roll of each just in stock for now. We'll let you know how it goes depending on what I find in the other ones. That being said, let me go ahead and go through the hand wrap ones first and segregate them by their by their, their type, and then we'll loop you guys back in. Well, we're in the very first uh, roll, and we've got kind of a unique set of circumstances here. One, I can see we've got one Susan B. Anthony for sure, and then we've got kind of a gold-plated coin, which is also Susan B. Anthony, 1980. It's pretty heavily gold-plated. I'll have to weigh that up. It doesn't feel heavier. Interesting. Let me do a little research and we'll get right back to you. All right, guys, I went ahead and checked the records. It looks like they made some gold plated uh, Susan B. Anthony dollars for some sets and some plaques, things like that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty heavily gold plated. It weighs the same as a regular Susan B. Anthony dollar, 8.1 grams. But uh, yeah, there's not even any nicking on this that you can see that says, I'm completely gold plating. I guess you could see one nick right there. But even that looks gold underneath. Anyway, we know it's not gold. It's gold plated. But I'm going to be keeping that because that's a cool find. I see them selling on eBay between 5 and 10 bucks, So I'm not disappointed in that. That's pretty cool. Let's keep looking. All right, guys. We've opened the uh, $400 or 16 rolls of customer wrapped one dollar coins and the breakdown is pretty simple here we got about 64 susan b anthony dollars a sort 65 they include the gold plated one we've got 20 40 60 80 100 and almost almost 120 of the 2000 to 2008 sacagawea dollars i segregate those from the native ones because the back is the ones you'll check for the tail feathers namely on the 2000 p so i'll be sorting these uh, by 2,000 P's and then everything else to the side But the 2,000 P is the one I'm going to be looking for the detailed tail feathers The natives don't really have anything to worry about I'll be checking the edge lettering because they have edge letterings on those and then here's the presidential ones I guess we've got uh, what is that? 250 something dollars 252 dollars in presidential ones The big thing on the presidential ones is you want to look for ones that are pretty much mint state which there might be a few I'll be able to tell by the edges but the main thing you're looking at is the edge lettering to see if it's missing or if it's the wrong edge lettering. And we'll get more into that on all these after I get them sorted. I'm going to start with the Susan B. Anthony's. 
I'm going to separate them by 79 and then everything else to the side because I'm checking for the wide rim variety on the 79s. Let me get these sorted and find out how many 79s I'm going to be able to look at. As expected, the majority of the Susan B. Anthony dollars are not the 79P that we're looking for. They're 79Ds or other years. So what we're going to do now is take a look at these under the microscope. I'll do it off camera to see if I see any wide rims and I'll be back if I do. As expected guys, none of those are the 79 wide rim. Let me go ahead and show you what I was looking at. On 79P, there's a narrow rim where the date is far from the rim. And on the wide rim, the rim's a little wider and the date's a little closer. They're almost touching. And it's only on the 79P. I have found one before and you can see a 79P wide rim fetches a pretty good price if it's MS63 which means if it's at least an AU or condition or better, it's worth quite a bit. But none of those, as luck would have it, are them. And none of those are the right, are the right mint and year. So it's time to move on to the 2000 P Sacagawea coins. And we're looking for just a 2000 P. Let me go ahead and get those sor sorted and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we have the Sacagawea coins stacked. These are all the 2000 and D's, 2001 P and D, and that's it. If you know anything about the Sacagawea coins, I had seen a 2002, but from 2002 on, just like half dollars, 2002 on, P, D, Philadelphia and Denver mints are, are all NIFCs as well. And we did find in here a 2002, it's in terrible shape, 2002 P. This is an NIFC. I'll be keeping it along with the Susan B. Anthony because it is a NIFC. We also found in this stack a 2006 S proof. It's in terrible shape, but it is a proof. Anything stamped with the S in Sacagawea is a proof coin. So this is a 2006 S proof, putting it aside as well. And then I'm gonna keep a hold of this one because it is a pretty fantastic looking 2000 ND or 2000D, Denver. Pretty nice shape. I'll wipe it down here in a second, so I'll get my hand prints off of it. But those are four keeper coins so far. Now we've got $61 in 2000 MPs to check for the bull tail feathers. When I was editing this video, guys, I noticed that I never gave you a wrap up of the 2000 MP Sacagawea dollars that I checked for the bull tail feathers. I apologize, I thought I was recording. Apparently I wasn't. So I'm inserting this video a little bit later, but after going through the $61 and 2,000 P Sacagaweas, none of them had the bolted tail feathers. So we're going to have to move on. Here's the good news. So you can see 5,500 of them were minted with the, with the bolted tail feathers. And look at the price if you can find one at MS65. Ridiculous. There's also some that are minted to Glenna Goodacre. It was a payment for her for having the design. 5,000 of those are minted. I don't think you're going to find those in circulation, but they have been found. Pretty good price on those as well. We didn't find any of that. Now it's time to move on to the presidential dollars as you'll see in the next part of the video. Well, we finished hunting the $315 in presidential dollars. All of them had the right edge lettering. All of them had edge lettering. So no errors there. That took a little while to look at. I'm not gonna lie, my eyes are a little tired, but we got through it. It wasn't without fines. We did find seven NIFCs. We've got uh, a Grover Cleveland Philadelphia Mint, as well as a Grover Cleveland Denver Mint, an Eisenhower Philadelphia, a Lyndon B. Johnson Denver Mint, and three Warren G. Harding Philadelphia Mints. In 2011, that was the last year that the presidential dollars were made for circulation. After that, they made them NIFC. And so they have a little bit less mint, of course, between I guess three to seven million, whereas they used to be around 37, 38 million minted. So they're a little more rare. They're harder to build sets with if you don't have them. They're only made for people that purchase them and that's why they're a little bit more rare. Obviously the presidents, I'm not gonna go through them all, but there's only been 15 presidents made um, since 2011 because in order to be a presidential dollar, unfortunately you have to be a dead president. And so they've only made the last dead president that we had so far is Ronald Reagan. He was the last presidential dollar minted. That being said, we did get some fines. Seven NIFCs. 
We've got a gold-toned Susan B. Anthony coin. We got a NIFC 2002 Sacagawea Philadelphia Mint. Pretty nice 2000D and a 2006 S Proof Sacagawea. There were some decent looking coins. I'll give an example. This is a James Madison in pretty good shape, but under the microscope, they have more than the usual amount of scratches. So none of these are gonna grade MS63, which is the only ones I'd pull out. I don't even think this 2000 uh, D Sacagawea is MS63, but you know what? It is a 2000 D, it is 18 years old, it is pretty nice. I decided to pull it out anyway. I also checked for any abnormal strikes, any off-center strikes, things like that. I didn't see anything like that worth worth mentioning. So, tough hunt, but you know what? I'll take seven NIFCs, eight NIFCs, I guess, and a few other finds. Now we gotta get the rest of these rolled back up and brought back to the bank. Hopefully you enjoyed this dollar series with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm not going to open these today. I'm going to keep those as far as part of my collection. Obviously, they're not circulated, so I'll be looking at these at a little more time when my eyes are rested for the edge lettering, wrong lettering, as well as any mint state coins. Now I'm going to let you go.